Welcome back to the Planet Dive YouTube channel. I'm Turk with Scuba with Turk, and today I'm going to teach you why your frog kick sucks. You are a bold one. Okay, not why it sucks, but why it's less efficient. I get told all the time when I'm in the water that I go too fast. Ghost be basin. Ghost be basin. I don't go too fast. I'm kicking less than you are, actually. If you look at number of kick cycles, mine is just more efficient. Why is it more efficient? Let's go to the water and find out. So this is me in the pool and I'm going to demonstrate what a typical frog kick I see on a daily basis out here looks like. Notice that my feet are gonna come up directly right after I kick. And my legs come right back up and kick again and back up. Don't do this. You're eliminating one of the best parts of the frog kick, which is the built-in glide cycle. My legs are straight, I start to slow down, and then their leg come back up and kick again. Now let's watch this again. Kick, glide, wait, wait, wait. Slowly start to bring her feet back up, now kick again. Glide, glide. See as I'm slowing down, my feet are coming back up. Wait, wait, now kick. This is what we don't want to do, kick and back up, kick and back up. The minute we bring our feet back up, we're eliminating the power we just put into our kick. So now let's see how many kicks it takes me to get from where I'm at right now to the other side of the pool using the proper technique for a frog kick. Kick, and we'll glide, glide, starting to slow down so the feet come back up, kick again. Glide, glide, two kicks. That took two kicks. Now let's look how many kicks it takes to get back to this side of the pool using the frog kick that most people I see are using, where they eliminate that glide cycle. One and up, two and up, three and up, four and up. We'll call that four. And you notice how fast I slowed down when I brought my feet up because we're creating drag in the water. All right, so I wanted to kind of go back and look at what we just talked about. We looked at ways not to do the frog kick, right? That is kicking and bringing your legs right back up. That's not hydrodynamic. You're kicking and giving yourself power, but then creating drag in the water by bringing your legs back up. If we look at the frog, the frog kicks and his legs stay out. That's what we want to do. We want to kick, keep our legs out, and then as we slow down, almost to a stop, bring our legs back up and kick again. What we're not doing is we're not going to bow our knees out like you see the frog do. I see some divers do that. That's not how it's done. If you look in my video, my legs stay there, my knees stay in. I don't ever turn my knees out. So it's just out, it's out and kick, out and kick, all right? So knees stay here, fins come out and kick and back up. Kick, glide, 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 back up. You can see in the video, kick, glide, 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 back up, kick again. So I'm gonna be like the frog. I think it's what I wanna be. One of the things I love about the frog kick is that glide cycle. When you're kicking and your legs are out, it's a resting period. You're not doing any work. You've already done the work to propel yourself to the water. So enjoy that. If you bring your legs back up, you're getting rid of all that momentum you just created. So kick and rest. That rest, you're not constantly working, means your sac rate or your air consumption rate is going to go down a little bit. Maybe not a lot, but it will come down because we're not doing as much work. Remember, everything in that we do in the water should be smooth, slow, and with a purpose, right? This, constantly bringing our legs back up, there's no purpose, there's no reason for that. Smooth, kick, rest, relax. Slowing down, legs back up. So hop in the water, work on that. And if you get here to Ahmed Bali, come see me at Prana Dive and we'll go for a dive together. Uh, if you like this video, do us a huge favor, please. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to us. I could definitely use the help with our subscribers here. I'm really pushing for 500 subscribers right now. We do appreciate it and it does help me make more content. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you have any suggestions or comments, leave them below and I'll be happy to answer all of them. Safe diving.